Hi everyone. So as y'all probably know, um, February is Black History Month. So we're going to start off this month with a series of books that celebrate Black History. And this week we are talking about inspirational um, stories that are related to like the Civil Rights Movement or to uh, reaching equality and justice. So the first one is called The Youngest Marcher, and this is written by Cynthia Levinson, illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton. Now, this is the story of Audrey um, Hendricks, and during the uh, 1963 Children's March, she is the youngest known um, marcher that was there. She was just so inspired by uh, Martin Luther King, who she called Mike, because um, he was friends with her family, that she um, was courageous and she decided that she was going to march, even if that meant that she was gonna have to go to jail. So this is uh, the story about courage and standing up for what is right and standing up against segregation and because of um, young people like her and other people who um you know marched and got put in jail and fought for civil rights then the laws were changed so this is an absolutely very inspiring book and i highly recommend that you um, check out this book the youngest marcher now the next book is called voice of freedom Fanny Lou Hammer. And this one is written by Carol Boston Weatherford and it's illustrated by Yuka Holmes. Now, this is a um, story about Fanny Lou Hammer, who was a civil rights activist. And it is a picture book that is uh, told in verse. So you learn all about her life through poetry. So every page. Um, has a different poem. Um, so as you read the poetry, you are learning all about her life and everything that she did. She was also another very courageous woman. And no matter um, like being put in jail or all the obstacles that she had to overcome, she kept fighting for civil rights. So if you want to learn about Fannie Lou Hammer, check out Voice of Freedom. And then lastly, we have What Do You Do With a Voice Like That by Chris Barton, illustrated by Uka Holmes. And this is the story about uh, Congressman Barbara Jordan. And even from a very young age, she had this very strong, booming voice, the type of voice that would make everybody just stop and listen to her. And um, so she did good things with that voice. And she went to school and she became a lawyer. And then she wanted to do more and she ran for the Texas Senate. And then she still like had aspirations and goals of doing more um, for civil rights. And she went on to run um, and became a uh, Congresswoman. She was in the US House of Representatives. And then even after she left uh, the US House of Representatives, she um, came back to Texas and she taught and inspired future generations to keep fighting for civil rights. So if you want to learn about Barbara Jordan, check out What Do You Do With A Voice Like That? For more information about Fannie Lou Hammer, Voice of Freedom, and very inspirational story, The Youngest Marcher, the story of Audrey Hendricks. Until next time, bye.